Hey yo. Hey yo. Um, it's me again. I mentioned I went to Aruba for my honeymoon, and I wanted to do a video and talk more about it. We flew with Thompson, and we flew on the new Dreamliner aircraft. Because it was honeymoon, we went. Balls out. We got the full package. We had a five-star hotel, first class flights. I'm talking fast track fuel security, VIP lounge, top notch. Up until we got on the plane, it was amazing. We got the VIP lounge, so it was complimentary breakfast and drinks, uh, fast track fuel security, which was just so stress free, recommended to everyone. It's worth the money. I think it was like 50 quid each, no stress. We got there, straight through, beers. It was just, I give my hopes up too much because we were expecting first class. And it wasn't actually first class, it was premium class. What we were expecting was, you know, big leather recliner seats, warm to a bar, you know, that kind of deal. What it was, it was complimentary drinks, it was uh, bigger seats than usual, more leg room, which you needed for a long haul flight like that. Give my hopes up a bit too much. Like I said, we got a five star hotel. And we got in the room. The room won five star. The bed was big and comfy. It was, that was probably the best bit. Um, the furniture, the appliances, the wash area, all very nice and modern. Um, the safe was well, just kind of like left on some wire shelves. You know, it won't. I would say were five star material, even with a shower really. The shower was just kind of alright and the toilet were a bit felt a bit cheap if I'm honest. The balcony area, there were decent furniture in there, but it wasn't comfortable and it wasn't all special. It felt a bit outdated the whole room in general if I'm honest. The door, the front door wasn't secure, and the front door wasn't a door to the hallway inside the hotel. It was a door to the street. We met a couple of friends out there. Their room, they had faulty appliances. I think they went through like three coffee machines and four televisions. But, but we didn't care. Look, we were in a place like this. It just looked amazing. The staff was, they were just happy. That's the word I'd just describe them. They were just happy. The nightlife was sick. It really was, and the bars, they just, uh, they sell a lot of food, including pizzas at a bar. And these pizzas, they want frozen pizza, they put in the microwave. These were handmade, right in front of you, stone baked pizzas. And the food, the food was unbelievable. In six months, I've still not had a steak, just for the pure fact that I know it won't be as good as what I had there. Five restaurants to choose from, including two buffets, so there's plenty of choice. Just that, that were just in the hotel. And the all the restaurants had views like this. It was absolutely amazing down there. You could see the pools and these, you kind of looked for shade. You see around the pool, there's not a lot of shade. So some days where we didn't go to the pool just because of how hot it is. I'm pale. I don't go over colour like my wife. Um, I hide under the tree with flowers on. That's probably where we stayed most of the time. It was warm. I mean, it's a Aruba. We had two priorities, looking for shade and we were looking for water. We were a real survival situation. But we didn't care again. With views like this, it looks like a screensaver. It was absolutely amazing. We went jet skiing, we took on a swing by the sunset. We even saw the famous Divi tree. We got some pictures by that. Like again, sun sunsets were incredible. It's just a beautiful island. We visited uh, the first church that was well built in Aruba. And that was just an awe-inspiring experience. You could just imagine all these people gathered around and worship. Such a lovely little sight. Then we went quad biking. And that was a good day out. Went to a gold mine. The next stop were at um, a natural pool, and that was great. We were a bit like by the sea, so we kept getting waves coming in. This shot there, you could just see my wife get absolutely drunk.
and just had fun. Another day we went um, on a catamaran and we went uh, snorkeling uh, and that was really good because we got to swim down to I think it was 40, we didn't swim down but we were swimming 40 foot deep waters, a sunken World War 2 battleship and there were just fishes everywhere swimming in a school of fish, it was unreal experience. I definitely recommend it if you were going to Aruba, go snorkeling. You have to get up early, but it's worth it. So the old, we decided to go to one of these restaurants. We said, well, come on, we'll go, we'll go to this one. And it was like a grill hot plate where you cook your own food on it type deal. But it had to pour on a table, so me and my wife, we were having to start with somewhere else. But, you know, we didn't really want to because it was only more we wanted to have a meal to ourselves. But I thought, you know, we can't change the rule. And we met one of our now closest couple of friends. Louis and Shan. But it's so rare you meet a couple that you just get along with. And we were there for 4th of July, so we could see the celebrations. And then I'm gonna to have to pause it here because I'd take off, realise I'm I'm not rotating enough, and then try and recover. No. And then the guy in the back, I don't know if you can see him, in the middle of water. He had a little puppy and he was teaching it to swim. It's so cute. <laughs> that was um, our time in Aruba.